Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 animation series. In today's video we are going to be taking a deeper look at skeletons and how they're used within animations inside of Unreal Engine 4. So having said that we'll be introducing you to the animation interface in a little bit more detail, taking a look at the skeletal section and what you can do with that. Now for those of you that don't know what a skeleton is, it is essentially a structure of bones which are going to be manipulated over time to form an animation. And if you want to see a skeleton structure, what you're going to have to do, if you've got the animation starter pack, just go to UE4 underscore mannequin, go to your mesh folder, and then just open up your skeleton for your mannequin dude. Now, once you open this up, you'll be within the animation interface. And by default, because you've opened up the skeleton, you are actually going to be in the skeleton tab. Now, having said that, you've got all kinds of different tabs at the top, right? You've got your mesh. So if you opened up the skeletal mesh, that would have opened up. If you opened up one of the animations, you'd be in there. So one thing I do want to mention is sort of that you just need to know that you can quickly access the different parts by going through these various tabs in the top right here. Now, what we're going to do is just quickly go back to the normal skeleton view and use this as our focus for today's video. So the main thing that you want to learn about when you're in here is sort of the interface and some of the different elements. Now, first things first, you have got your main viewport and your viewport is this big section in the middle here where you've got your character or whatever element it is that you are trying to animate or work with inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now, within this viewport, you can see that element and you can also select the various bones. So if I wanted to, I could just click on the different areas and then from there, I can even sort of manipulate them to sort of test that bone structure, make sure everything works. So for example, right now, I've actually clicked the lower arm bone just by sort of selecting it here. What I want or what I can do if I want to, I can just sort of rotate that up, down, left and right and I can make sure that that bone structure has been set up and it's going to be all good for use in animations. Now, selecting these different bones is quite difficult through the skeletal mesh, uh, sort of through the mesh because you can't see the bones. And that is where the skeleton tree on the left hand side comes in handy. Within here, you have got a list of every single bone that is within that skeleton. So for example, if I wanted to, I could jump straight to the spine, I could jump to the clavicle, the upper arm, the lower arm, um, or anything like that. And then from there, I can then go and make those changes just like that. I can rotate it and do all of that good stuff. Now, one thing that I do want to mention as well is that Unreal Engine 4 is going to allow you to make those minor adjustments to your animations and to your bones. So for example, you've made your animation inside of Maya or Blender and then imported it into the engine. What you could do is simply just make that minor change to the bone, sort of just rotating it and so on as part of the animation. And that is going to be one of the things that you will be manipulating the skeleton for. So that is something for you guys to keep in mind. So what I will say though, what I will reiterate like I did in the last video is that you won't actually be making complete animations in Unreal, simply modifying them um, as it's a lot easier to make them in Maya or Blender or somewhere else similar to that that you will be working with. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to sort of talk to you about for skeletons for now, but there is still a whole bunch of extra stuff that I want to teach you, such as sockets, working with them, and all of that good stuff. But for now guys, that is pretty much everything. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.